Big Crazy John with Big Crazy Outdoor Adventures here. We are doing a Canteen Cup Tuesday. I have a Maxi um, Titanium uh, Canteen Cup here. So this is a new cup I used today and um, new Espit stove I've had for many years, so not really new, just never used it. So we're using that as well today. And um, uh, you know, I've been seeing these uh, Canteen Cup Tuesday videos for a while. I've seen Morning Wood, Eat Carb Outdoors, and Carolina Crisp been doing them, and they do a great job. So if you really want to see how someone does it right, go watch their channels. But um, please stay tuned for, you know, my version of it, my first kind of um, outing with, with this. So a collaboration I keep hearing about from Spirit Forest and Yankees Outdoor Adventures. So that's another reason why I wanted to try to get into the Canteen, Canteen Cup Tuesday, um, trying this out. So there's a lot of great channels I mentioned there, and I'm going to have them linked below. Also, you're going to notice when we get outside that there's um, a lot of background noise today. So the um, the thing is, this is kind of a, a set of woods near my house. It's easy access for me. It's kind of my nirvana or oasis. You know, I kind of go to. I get a little bit of getting in the woods time, um, but there is a lot of you know city noise you're going to hear. So some it's kind of faint in times, but you'll hear some background, possibly um, uh, construction noise and and different things of this sort. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. All right, so um, got the um, Espit little pocket stove here. You can see it uh, collapses down, it cracks open there. So that's the stove we're going to use or try using. Never used it. It has these little tablets. Normally they only use one, but today I'm going to try using two because maybe it'll be bigger, two's bigger, better, faster, right? Got a little mini bic. Okay, that one's lit. These are not easy to light. Oh, it is lit. It's just really hard to see. Okay, so we're gonna have this um, Weiss Company Outdoor Meals. Uh, it's a, um, makes two jumbo servings, cheesy lasagna, pasta with Parmesan, Romano cheese, tomato sauce, onions, and spices. So it's great. Great for camping, backpacking, hunting, fishing, or long-term food storage. So it's got, it's got um, one serving is 260 calories, five grams of fat, and 12 grams of protein. That's pretty good. So it's got um, two servings in it. So. And then the cooking directions, it says open package at tear notch, remove oxygen absorber from the pouch, add two cups, 16 ounces of boiling water to pouch and place on flat surface. Stir thoroughly with a long spoon and then close zipper. Let's stand for 12 to 15 minutes. Hot steam inside, use caution when opening pouch. Open pouch, stir and eat. So, we got our flame going well there. Let's get the water going.
All right, so we got steam coming out the top. And these are burned and it's going. So I think we're ready to add, add it to the uh, cheesy lasagna. Do not eat, do not eat. <laughs> good, good advice. Let's see if I can do this without dumping it. So the first mistake I made, I see now, was the handles. Should put these out. All right. We are definitely, definitely boiling. So that's good. I should have um, probably put a little extra water in since it. Uh, boiled off well not much so we're good we're good on the on that okay let's get to spilling like a pro <laughs> or semi pro shouldn't be gloating yet it's not done all right good point all right so we added the two cups boiling water. Let me get my spoon out. So I got this um, kind of spatula knife um, spork spoon combo here. Get that stirred up. So let's stand 12 to 15 minutes. So we're going to let it stand probably 15. I've noticed that sometimes when you, you put these in the package, if you don't let them stand, you get some crunchies in there. I don't like that, so. I'm just kind of mixing it up a little more. So fuel cells are gone. They're, you know, probably lasted maybe 15 minutes or less. Also want to note the um, SBIT tablets kind of leave a uh, sticky residue on the bottom. You can see here it comes off of my hands. But, I mean, you're going to get some sort of residue probably regardless of what kind of fire you have. So it's going to get blackened regard regardless. So, okay. okay, time to try this. Let's give it a whirl. Clean off my spoon first. It's been well over 15 minutes. Still pretty hot. That's fine. It's like a lasagna soup. <laughs> Would I eat it again? We'll see. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's easy. I'd eat it again. Is it five out of five stars now? <laughs> Is it good for backpacking? Yeah. For something that you carry in a backpack and you have you know, very little prep work to do, you pour water in a bag. This is this is really easy. Has a lot of chemicals in it, and it kind of tastes that way. Um, I mean, it's got a lot of ingredients on here. Pasta, vegetable protein, soy flour caramel color, soybean oil, salt, natural flavoring, natural smoke flavoring, dextrose, spices, garlic powder, whey powder, Parmesan Romano cheese, food starch modified tomato, Potato, flour, salt, tomato, powder, non-dairy creamer, um, syrup solids, sodium cassinate, milk derivative, mono and diglycerides, sodium citrate, salt, dipotassium, phosphate, uh, produced on equipment that also processes milk, soy, wheat, egg, selfish, fish, tree nuts, and peanuts. So, it's 100% vegetarian. So... I assume these uh, chunks of what look like meat are actually a soy product of some sorts. It grows on you. The uh, so it's manufactured date 6/29/2011, and the best buy date is 6/29/2018. So that's one of the reasons we're eating this today. Is um. I wanted to get it best before that date this year. I know these can um, these can be on a shelf for much longer. You know, it's a Best Buy date. So. so this was my first Canteen Cup Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please um, check out my other ch other videos if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button. Um, so. With that meal, I didn't even finish it. You know, I just tasted too chemical, too too many chemicals. I just I wasn't enjoying it. So, um, you know, if I was out on the trail and had to enjoy it, I would. I would have finished it. But um, I got other options. So for my next meal, I I'm wondering if you guys can maybe give me some comments below, give me some ideas. You know, I I have some ramen. I might end up using. Yeah, that's chemicals too. But I've had it before a million times, and I like it. So. Um, we might try that with maybe something else, but, um, I also have a, a few more of those packets I'm probably going to have to try. Um, so we might try that as well. But if you got ideas for meals, let me know. I'm new to this Canteen Cup Tuesday. I'd appreciate some ideas. Let me know in the comments. So remember to get outside and have some fun. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.